Hi guys, it's Judith from JVR Resources and thanks for watching today. I wanted to talk to you about Ann Kohlberg's in-depth tutorials. And these are great tutorials that really uh, have a lot of information in them. They're like a, uh, an art class and what I love about it is once you download this and uh, you can print it out or not, but once you own this then you can make time every day for a half an hour or an hour and work on it just like you would be going out to an art class. That's how I do it when I get these and I really uh, learn a lot from them. Uh, they're very in-depth, there's lots of instruction and I'm going to show you a couple of them right now. Uh, one of the first ones that I ever did um, is not finished, it's still a work in process, but I wanted to learn how to do blurry backgrounds. So this is a great one for that. Um, it's Beautiful Butterfly and um, you can see here in some of the instruction it shows you how to create that blurry background because I stink at blurry backgrounds and um, this is what I have so far not so great might have to do that one over uh, but that's uh, I have another one here that I did work on um, this husky this was on blue paper and look at those eyes this was the most fun I really love doing that project um, here's the line drawing and then um, this is what I wound up creating following the instruction so I was really pleased with that kit. It was very easy to follow along. These are more advanced than the Jumpstart kits, but they're great. And there's such easy instruction that even if you are a beginner, you can still do them. You just need to know some techniques first, and you really need to be careful and follow along and don't skip any steps. Don't look at the picture and think you can do it. You need to read all the instruction that is put forth in that book, and you will learn so much. Here's another one. This um, You get two for the price of one in here. This a dahlia and a poppy. And this has the line drawing on the back and there's another line drawing in there um, as well and um, if I'm not mistaken I think this one is for drafting film uh, but I don't remember and I don't want to take the time to open that up now because I have more to show you. Here is another one in-depth uh, tulips. What's really great about this um, you can see on the back here your line drawing again and this is the different steps uh, this is great because it has lots of textures. The table, the wood grain in the background, the beautiful soft supple petals, and then um, I don't know if that's raffia or whatever is wrapped around the vase. There's um, lots of lessons in this. This is a really great one. And uh, two more I have to show you here quickly. Uh, this is the silver pitcher. And if you ever wanted to learn how to do silver, this is a great one to start with. And finally, um, they're all by different artists, too, and some of them we know and love, uh, like Cynthia Knox. This is her Apple Blossom. And I did start this one, but I have not yet finished it. So I have a lot more to go on the background, and then, of course, the Apple Blossom itself. So uh, that's another one that I started. Now, uh, the latest in-depth tutorial is Ginny the Giraffe. This is by Alan Jones. And that's a very cute giraffe. Um, this is very in-depth. There's 20 pages here, so there's lots of instruction. So to just tell you, uh, when you first get this, um, you open it up and then you see a little bit about the artist. There's the photo reference that inspired him to do this picture. And then there's some website information on the artist as well. And then um, the next page you have your color chart and uh, material list. So everything that you could possibly need for this lesson is in here. The next page, um, it, it talks about pressures of your pencil uh, because that's very important and different things that you might need um, like an embosser and how to use that and just different types of strokes. And then um, starts the lessons just one step at a time. And this is what I was explaining to you. See here's step one, step two and it shows you um, what goes on there. Now I'm going to skip ahead a few pages so you get an idea. Um, this is step 11. And by step 11, you really have a nice drawing. But you don't want to look at it and say, oh, I see the ears need to be done, and then just color them in. You need to read whatever is on here. Otherwise, you're going to mess up, because that's what happens. Um, to me sometimes. I'll just start working on the picture and I'll look at it and I'll see that there's a line here that wasn't on the previous page and I'll put the line in. But there may have been some burnishing or some blending that needed to go with that. So it's very important that you do not skip any steps. Now on the back of this um, you get the line drawing of the giraffe. Now um, especially on this giraffe it's very involved. 
I would recommend putting it on a light box or getting some transfer paper and making sure you transfer all that over. There's lots of color shifts and little areas that change and uh, you want to make sure you have all your lines in the right place before you get started. You need a great foundation so you wind up with a great drawing in the end. So that's it. Um, the in-depth tutorials are really wonderful. Pick one up today. They're very inexpensive. $12.99 is the most expensive one. I think there's 12 or 13 of them to choose from. I will list in the video notes at least everything that you've seen here with a direct link on how to uh, get them. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. I will bring you new things every week, uh, product reviews. I am next going to uh, review some Jumpstart kits, which are for beginners. So make time to create, as always, and I'll see you next time.